Hi guys. So this is one of my daily rituals. Uh, now I'm using anti-chaffing cream. Of course, I took the wrong one. Um, I'm using the anti-chaffing cream in order to avoid uh, any anything happening uh, or overheating and causing problems, especially on my feet. So every time I stop and take a swim, for instance, like I just did, uh, which I usually do in the middle of the day, uh, well, I before putting back, back my socks, I put some anti-chaffing cream. Now, today um, I'm also having uh, quite severe problems uh, in the lower back, where it's uh, there is uh, a lot of problems with my backpack and, uh, and uh, have quite an irritation. Uh, now I'm trying to protect my lower back as much as I can. I even had to run with my hands uh, under my backpack at some point, uh, and I'm gonna put some anti-chapping cream there too. Now, there is a lot of sun today and a lot of wind, so despite the sun heating really hard, uh, the wind really eases it up and it feels really great. Now, as for the anti chaffing cream, now it's different for everyone, but I put some on a lower arcade around here and a little bit on the side and a little bit uh, behind and under the, the feet, uh, the foot. Uh, and that's it, that's about it, but the, the, uh, the toes part is the one, the toes part is usually, uh, the toes part is usually the one that uh, heats the most and uh, creates the most problems, uh, that's it. Now, depending on... Depending on uh, where uh, it heats up, you, you can basically uh, put some anti-chaffing cream on your shoulders, in your back. For instance, I have a place that can really heat up on the higher part of my back. Uh, between the legs, uh, it depends really on you. So that's it, see you soon.